or Roseas, however you'd like to say it, Vinca. Now don't everybody get confused because we got Vinca Major, we have Vinca Minor, and then you've got the common name Vinca. When I think of Vinca, this is what I think of because this is what I used to sell as Vinca at my parents' nursery. All right, but this is Catharanthus. Catharanthus has um, a nice opposite foliage. The foliage, when it's not uh, inflicted with any sort of disease or, or insects, or uh, when it's nicely um, filled with nutrients, is a nice, really dark green foliage. It's got a, a nice herringbone pattern with the ver uh, vanation in the actual leaves. Okay, and then uh, in the in the heat of the summer, these these flowers will be out. Now, typically, they're they're much more uh, profuse in the springtime uh, when the conditions are a little more favorable. But even in the summertime, Catharanthus is a, is a pretty tough plant for us. It's mostly shade, right? No, well, no. We, we grow it in the sun. Okay. You can put it in the shade and it'll survive there, not full blown. But if you put it in some shade, it won't bloom nearly this uh, profusely. Okay. Realize this is two different, these are two different plants. Okay. So you've got this particular one in there that's kind of got, all the flowers sort of have that pinwheel look to them. Okay, you've got the five petals that can be sort of uh, dissected from one another or that can be really tightly compressed. But they always sort of have that pinwheel look to them. Uh, you see uh, red throats here, yellow throats here. Uh, you also see different colors. White is not the only color of Vinca. We see reds, uh, pretty much reds, uh, really dark pinks, uh, all the way into light <coughs> pinks and, and whites. And then you see some that are uh, combinations thereof. Okay. Look for opposite foliage. That's really nice, dark, glossy green. When these are planted uh, initially, like as plugs or out of six packs uh, in pots and things, they're really sort of tiny uh, in diameter. They're uh, just sort of straight up and down, more uh, vertical uh, or vertically oriented. But then as they begin to bush out, they begin to grow into one another and fill out pots like this. And it's really a nice, nice plant for us, okay? Again, you can see them reach up to a foot, two foot tall, but typically that's because they're growing over one another. So we'll just keep these flowers and these flowers. Uh, yeah, it'll keep sending out flowers, not nearly this profusely most of the time, but typically there'll be a flower on it all the way from spring to frost. Okay.